despite the smoke, Scott Newman's take on weed is clear. I think this should totally be a voting issue. Like, definitely. I was like waiting. I'm waiting for the person that's like, I'm going to make it legal. He says over the years, even his parents have changed their perceptions of the drug. I definitely think that the, the times are, are changed and people understand that it isn't this evil thing. According to a new Ipsos poll, 65% of Canadians would support a move to decriminalize marijuana. And we've gone through a period of time where marijuana has been you know, a prohibited substance and we've gone, gone through these extreme bans and it's not been effective. This professor can see weed sitting on the shelves next to booze. There's no reason why the same infrastructure couldn't be used for marijuana if it were legalized. So you'd be going to your liquor board store and now you'd be buying, instead of just alcohol, you'd be buying marijuana as well if you chose. There could also be a financial benefit to legalizing marijuana. Taxation would take the money out of the black market and into things that could benefit Canadians. We're putting billions of dollars into provincial coffers through the sale of alcohol and the tax and markup on alcohol. Um, there's no reason to believe that we wouldn't be reaping very similar, if not larger, benefits from marijuana. And regulate who has access to it in the same way that we do with alcohol and tobacco and the like, and that we'd be more effective in making it harder for them to have access to it than being able to buy it on a street corner in downtown Regina. But this professor doesn't see pot swaying voters. It doesn't look like that's going to scare so too many people away from the Liberal Party. It's not going to be the deciding factor on what people vote on, most likely. Sarah Krause, Global News.